Hello, I'm Sarah Payne and this is a short video demonstrating how to set up PHP Storm to use Xdebug for PHP debugging. It does follow on from a couple of other videos and blogs that I've done about setting up PHP in Windows. I will be doing others in the future that also cover Linux. For now let's get started. I've already got PHP installed and I've already set up Apache and PHP with Xdebug. The first place to start is either in the Chrome store or the Firefox store or your equivalent web browser and to install the plugins for that browser All you need to look for is an Xdebug helper and there is an equivalent in most browsers. I'm going to start by creating a new project. Just an empty project and we're going to call it test project. Give that a moment to finish. Once it's loaded, we're going to add a PHP file. The names aren't really important. And then we're going to add some basic PHP code to this file. Very, very simple PHP file. Uh, total sum of numbers there and it returns the function from here which takes value 1 and value 2, adds them together and returns the value here. So we're going to start and there are a number of things to set up and it's going to start with the plugins. So we come to the file menu and go to settings. And then we go down to the plugins. This isn't strictly part of the debugging, but it's something that's very useful. Um, just make sure you've got live edit installed. If it's not installed, you can click install here. Now we need to look at some of the other sections. So we're going to come down to the debugger next. That's the debugger menu inside of build execution deployment. Inside of this debugger section there is live edit. You need to make sure that a few of these pieces are checked. Or specifically as these ones here, you've got, so you've got the node update, you've got the application Chrome, Make sure that it's all tracked, highlight, restart, and use the browser plugin, assuming you've just installed that. So 
So next we need to look at deployment. Uh, we're going to add a new area. It's going to be a local or a mounted folder. You can give this any name you want. I'm just going to call it localhost. And now we need to work through the tabs. So I'm going to start on the connections tab, which is the initial one. And we're going to hit the browse button, then we're going to navigate to a folder and create it. And this is a folder that's going to sit inside of the HT docs. And then we're also going to make sure that this is named here as well. It's a test project. And then we're going to move down to the map or across to the mappings tab. In the mappings tab, we're going to hit the browse button. We're going to select the same folder we just selected before, apply that one as well. If we open deployment up, we have deployment options. There are a number of things that need to be changed in here now. Again, you don't have to, but it's handy. Create as is creating empty directories. This wants to be changed to always. Okay, so now. This is in the connection to localhost section. So we've come down now into languages and frameworks, into PHP. Go and select our interpreters there. So we've changed it to 7.4. We change the command line interpreter to 7.4 as well, and we've hit apply. Okay, so now we're coming into the sub menus of PHP. On the debug, there isn't an awful lot to do in here, but in servers, we're going to need to add a new server. Again, you can give it any name you want, but I'm going to call it localhost, just to be obvious. And apply that. Okay, that should be all the settings that we need to do. If I now return to this file and I should be able to just right click and debug. It is possible on the first time that you won't get this debug menu. If that happens, close the file, reopen it and then it will actually show up. Make sure you select test PHP. And now we can add a breakpoint. So we just left click, for example, here, or even here. And if I hit debug again now, we can drop down and each click we can see what changes. And if we add an extra line so it outputs something. You 
you to save it when you save and if you didn't notice it's automatically uploading this to the folder we created and now I can click there and it will open in the browser straight away and that's it you're all set up you've got a full IDE with full debugging capabilities for your PHP projects thank you for watching bye